For the monthly lunch and learn regarding customer source, we will break this down into several sections so it'll be easier to comprehend and see smaller portions at a time. To begin with, uh, most people don't really take advantage of customer source at the depth that they should. So for our Lunch and Learn today, we wanted to make sure that all of our clients had an opportunity to learn more about what is offered through customer source. So what does customer source do for you as an individual? It delivers information based upon your specific needs. And the reason I say your specific needs, as you create your profile and you log into customer source, you will be setting up what you want to see. So it is your specific needs. It will deliver to you on a regular basis news. It will deliver insights. You can log into the e-learning portal. You can do downloads of service packs and tax downloads. It'll enable you as an individual to learn through interactive sessions. We'll show that to you later. It will also give you an opportunity to participate in some social media interactive discussion boards. You can do online e-learning training. You can watch online demonstrations. You as an individual can do your own technical support. And uh, at this time, there are self-support, assisted support, and there's a um, portal that allows you to do uh, a repair on the fly. It allows you, customer source allows you to keep your solution current and compatible with all versions as they are released. So uh, product upgrades, payroll tax updates. You can participate on the product advisory board survey. And what that is, is if you choose to do so, you can sign up for the advisory board and actually direct Microsoft on how you would like to see the system work better in the future. So what they do is they give you a, um, a fictional amount of money to spend, and then they give you a budget of which you can spend the money on. And so by allocating money towards different budgeted categories, you're in effect telling them what you'd like to see in the system through that survey. There is a suggestion database also that you can participate in and as you find something that needs to be done to make the system operate in a more efficient manner then go ahead and suggest that through the suggestion portal of customer source. To log into partners uh, customer source you will need to have a live ID and a password. Now you can, if you choose to do so, launch GP. You as an individual can go to the help menu and as you go to the help menu you will see a Microsoft Dynamics GP online. As you click that you will be redirected to a online portal and this is where you begin the process of setting up your system. If you'll notice here in the middle of the portal it says customer source. You can visit customer source so the latest updates. That is a direct link out of Dynamics GP. So by clicking customer source, it will take you to the login page. As I mentioned earlier, uh, you need a live ID and the process of creating the live ID is right here in this first login. So you'll create your log ID if you need assistance with this. Indu Sayal, our client advocate, would be glad to help you and walk you through this process and uh, you can email Indu uh, at Premier Computing and she will make an appointment to help you with this process. It's rather simple but uh, takes a few minutes to complete. So as I get ready to log in and I've done that whole process which takes about five or six minutes, you will come back and log in. As you log in to the customer source portal based upon your settings specifically to your company and specifically to you as an individual, you will be directed to the appropriate pages based upon your selection. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is log in to my account. In this case is not customer source, it is partner source. Uh, the customers log into customer source and I log into partner source. So I've got to log into partner source before I can get further. As I log into the system, I will be directed to the main page. Now this page is where you can get a lot of information instantaneously off the main page. So news and events, the things you've signed up for are going to be in the news and events section here. You can view the news, view events here. 
So as you view the news, it'll take you to another portal where there's going to be a, a dynamic link that'll take you to each and every one of these. Now at this level here, you're viewing news and that's all that's selected here regarding GP. And the reason for that is I selected in my profile to have Dynamics GP as the one I want to watch and see any news coming. You can select the series you want to look at and redisplay. You can select a version if you choose to do so here, 2010, and redisplay. So the more you select, the closer you get to what you're looking for. Now back to um, the the home page here. I've got news and events. I've got the e-learning portal. Most viewed knowledge-based articles, training, and certifications. So um, this is your main portal when you log in. You can go deeper. You can go into downloads and updates, hot recent uh, knowledge, most recent knowledge base, and these are most views knowledge base documentation. So this is your main page for getting to where you need to go. Back to the slide presentation. Um, when you log in, we've already done this. <clears throat> you get to the main page. But you can get deeper into the system. Basically, um, you can, by choosing other sections to go to inside the uh, customer source website, you can go to uh, different portals. So let's come back. Um, view events. So if you want to see what's going on throughout the community, there's nothing going on right now. But we recently did the um, convergence. And so you can also type in convergence. and do searches on the portal. Instead of having to go through a menu, you can go right to certain sections. Um, Convergence 2012, what happened here? And it'll give you all the information associated with Convergence 2012. Or if you typed in Convergence 2013, There's a whole new portal now that delineates what is going to be going on with Convergence 2013. Um, That's interesting. I should have gone right to the 2013 portal, but it didn't go there this time. Um, so as we go through, you can actually go deeper and deeper and deeper inside the system. Uh, depends on what menus you want to go to. So there's some samples in the PowerPoint presentation that will be published on our Premier website that will let you look at all that's necessary to get the information that you need. Back to the presentation. Um, I need to go to a, just a sec. There we go. Um, there's multiple ways to get information out of the customer source website. The first way is if you can't get what you need by doing the search, which is the first way, or going to a menu, then you can do what they call the chat session. I'm going to actually go to a chat session and show you how that works. It's basically at the top of the screen. It's under Contact Us. So sometimes they're busy, sometimes they're not. But as you go through a chat session, you'll see here operation support, chat online. So if we go chat online, it opens up a section where you can do a chart, uh, start a chat conversation. If somebody is available, they will immediately see a screen here that says join chat session. Right now it says we're currently experiencing an unusually high chat traffic. Please check back again. So um, anyway, it will allow you to open up a chat session. Knowing that might have happened, I have actually got in the PowerPoint presentation here. The chat opens. It says chat now with an operation professional. It opens. Somebody logs in. They, rec they recognize you. They give you their name. You log the information into the chat section. And I often will. I've got two screens on my office computer environment. 
So if I'm doing a chat, I'll just grab this, drag it over, drag it over to the other screen, and go on and work as I do a chat and follow up. And as I do research, I, I keep this open. Sometimes it's a 15 or 20 minute chat session while they're looking for information to help me. Anyway, that's what the chat session can do. You can go into the GP system and set up your own personal profile. And um, how that happens is if you go along here and you go to My Accounts and you set My Profile. And in the profile, you will tell the system whether you're the billing contact. You will tell them whether or not you can see balances, see financial. Uh, mine's a little bit different because I'm a partner, but a, in a, a customer environment, you'll tell the system just what role you play in the company, whether you're chief executive officer, maybe a billing contact, chief financial officer. You can see the multiple choices. Now, the reason they do this is you can sign up for and receive information from Microsoft on a regular routine basis depending upon what you've chosen in those screens. Now, um, if, I, if I close this tab and I, I go back, actually I didn't want to close that, I apologize. Let me open that back up. I'm going to my account and my profile. Um, You can, you can edit. I just did that a few minutes ago, and I came back and I saved it. Now I'm going to go over to the company profile. And in the company profile, you'll, you'll want to add uh, people, professionals into the system. Uh, if, you, if you choose to do so, um, let's see. Under the organization, under all professionals, you can add people here and that gives them accessibility to the system and uh, and so there's there's multiple tools from you for you as an end user to uh, maintain the system one person would be set up as administrator and then they can go in and add other people there's a search profile as well so what you want to do is a one-time setup where you would go in and set your country set your language and set what product you want to always appear and the default and save your preferences there. And then site settings, this just tells the system what time zone you're in, what language you prefer, and then insights. This is really an important part of the, the website. Um, you can elect to enroll in receiving newsletters, hot fixes, anything that you choose that's in this screen, just by clicking the screen, will you'll get automatic updates from Microsoft. Very powerful tool. If you want to know what's behind the Microsoft Dynamics GP news and announcements, then you can actually tell the system to show the topic descriptions by turning them on. So in this one, this is a regular update incorporating business building information, tips and tricks, special offers, etc., etc. You probably want to go ahead and get that news and announcement. I've selected multiple. You can select all. Uh, whatever you choose to do, one thing you do need to do is choose whether you want to receive it in text or HTML format. I choose HTML because it comes out in a really nice, well-designed um, email. If you don't do that, then it'll just come out in text, and it's kind of boring, frankly. So there you go. Uh, then um, under News and Events, this is Convergence. Now you notice here, Convergence is a very, very wonderful event to go through and, and participate on on an annual basis. This is the announcement. Convergence will be held in 2013, March 18th through 21st. And I, you know, I and everybody else here would virtually highly recommend you sign up and go to uh, Convergence if you can. Four days of intensive training and uh, this is the website that you'll be watching for as they send out more information in the future of uh, the, the events and the schedules and so forth. So good training, four days of solid training. But that's under news and events. Uh, you've got the ability to go to other conferences, web seminars, as part of that social media we've been talking about. And so anything coming up with seminars that you might want to attend, just go ahead and click into it, register for it, attend it, and then you'll get a, a notice in the uh, from Microsoft that um, you you can attend those. 
We've gone through several of these slides. Let's go ahead. We just covered this one here. So uh, that ends the section on customer source and what value it brings to the end user for news, events, social media, and uh, attending training sessions.